He's going dusty bogan here. Just reading. Do you like the unshackled? They're good. I'm reading their article. Cool. Don't sue me. Even though I read a heap of articles, so I don't even know if it's legal. I'm sure, surely it is. <clears throat> anyway, I'll put the link below. So, yeah, so just reading this about Israel Falau. Falau, Falau, Fia, Falau. I don't know if he's Samoan or Tongan or. He's Australian anyway. He's a wallaby, right? It's like the, um, it's the, you know, the civic nationalism, the civic duty to like vote or be a buddy, you know. Well, we're trading in civic nationalism for cultural nationalism. That's like something that the Wallabies does. It's like glue. We call Israel Folau an Aussie. He's an Aussie now. <clears throat> and I reckon he's a bloody good Aussie. So let's read this. Um, after Israel Folau with officials from the sports governing body... <clears throat> Uh, last week, Rugby Australia addressed the media by saying Falau had committed a high-level contract breach which, which would result in their intent to sack him. They gave him a 48-hour to either accept the sanction or have the matter referred to a code of conduct hearing in a, <clears throat> in a brave and principled move. Israel Falau has now decided to challenge the breach Notice that Rugby Australia had issued him on Monday. I reckon that's good. How ballsy is he? He's going to stand up and fight these bastards, these PC weirdos. And, you know, this is, I reckon, heaps of the PC madness. It's all about advertisers. It's all about advertising companies. They're like, we don't want to segregate any, um, you know, identity group. We want 100%. Like if they're selling fucking hamburgers, they want 100% of the market to feel like they have access to the burgers. So they're willing to throw the baby out with the bath. Or they're willing to just like completely disregard freedom of speech because, um, you know, whatever, whatever they're doing these days, it's like, no, the advertisement companies will get upset because we're, it's a reflection on them. It's all about money. It's like the love of money. They're willing to just trade in, you know, culture, tradition, heritage, <clears throat> anything good, religion. Like, it doesn't matter. It's all about money. Money is their god, the goblins. Anyway, I'll continue reading. <clears throat> it's good he's standing up. He's, he's standing up. So, yeah, the, anyway, the, I'll, I'll read because I don't know. Three minutes in, if you're unfamiliar with Israel Flair, I think he did some post on Instagram. It's like, warning, drunk homosexuals, adulterers, liars, fornicators, thieves, atheists. What's the last one? Adulterers? No, nah, I don't know. Slanderers. <clears throat> What's it say? They'll burn in hell or some crap. It's like an edited picture. I can't really read the whole thing. But you get the idea. It's like he was warning them that they will uh, go to hell or something. So that's what it's about. That's what he's getting in trouble for. So I'll just continue reading. Rugby Australia, Australia's decision to sack him follows his online comments that he posted on social media, which listed several groups of people such as homosexuals, transgender people, <coughs> drunks, adulterers, etc., that they were going to hell <laughs> Falau firstly took to Twitter now this is the thing this is the thing about Israel Falau see like even the idea of hell well this is about the afterlife not present he's not saying he's going to hurt anyone no one's getting hurt and if you don't believe it and you're an atheist what are you worried about who cares right and it's not like the guy is a... If you think of like radical Islam, they actually will actually uh, fucking kill you. So that it's like gone. Be it's t it's not like talking about a you know some. Uh, it's like a conspiracy theory. Like maybe there's a, a place like hell, and it you know in my in his culture in the Christian culture he's like warning guys. 
if you're doing these things, you're at risk of going to hell. You need Jesus to forgive you and help you in this life. So that you and give you and he'll give you a hope and upon whatever. He's not threatening anyone here now, is he? And we have our Mus- we have the Muslims who actually are threatening people here now. And the worst thing is, is we have these the radical left. The radical left and even the advertisers, even the rugby rugby union Australia, you know, they they are actually doing something. They're sacking the dude. So all Israel Flower is talking about a hypothetical idea, really, and they're the ones who are actually doing something. So I think that's just stupid. <clears throat> and if you if you like, you know, if you were like convinced, I heard like an atheist dude say, "Man, if it was like if I was a Christian, I'd be warning everyone about hell if I was convinced that it was true." That's that's correct. If Israel's conviction is that they these people are going to hell, he's doing the right thing. It's actually kind of him to be like, hey, guys, kind of care about you. Don't really want that for you. Um, there's actually a hope. There's a hope for you. Forgiveness and, uh, you know, anyway. Um, here we go. Continue. Uh, Falau first took to Twitter to caution that. Uh, the devil has blindsided so many people in this world. Repent and turn away from your evil ways. This comment was in relation to a far-left extremist decision taken by the Tasmanian parliament to introduce gender-optional birth certificates. Oh, okay, sweet. And that's true. So have they actually done it? Uh, I thought Tasmania hadn't actually passed that law yet, but I got an email from Kira Lee Smith. I think everyone who... Sh- yeah, she would have emailed everyone. But yeah, Tasmania, it's like they're removing gender off the birth certificate and they're bringing in... Um, it's like um, you could get a fine up to $3,500 for misgendering someone. What the heck? That's insane. That's insane. That's so control freak weirdo. And like, it's a big problem. And this is... This is Labour in the Greens. Of course, this is from the Labour in the Greens. And this is why you, you don't want to vote Bill Shorten in Labour or any Greens guys in. Because they're like, at the minute, they're like, Tasmania, they're pushing to remove gender off birth certificate and the, the fines, bring in fines for misgendering people. You've got South Australia's attacking Christian schools, trying to pass a law that they can control who they hire and fire. Fire. And for like students and staff and everyone, like essentially, it's like if it's like the school is selling a product, right? A conservative product, and people voluntarily decide, like, yes, this, these are the values I agree and agree with. If if they're not allowed to um, hire and fire who they want or remove students who don't share the same values, you're robbing them of the product. It's an attack on the free market and attack of freedom of religion same with the thing about the gender certificates and getting fined for misgendering people like you know that kind of it's an attack on freedom of speech and it would become an attack on uh, freedom of religion and then you got like youth in asia getting pushed in western australia we can we can see and that's just the thin end of the wedge soon if they bring in youth in asia then that turns into they'll be like yeah i can see people in palliative care you know we could like just essentially assist suicide, put them down out of their misery. And people will be like, oh, that's kind of reasonable. But it's always the thin end of the wedge. And what happens, it will be like, congratulations, Dusty, you're 65, and now you're eligible for your green injection. And the government would love that so they don't have to pay your pension. <clears throat> I'm not saying... I would say it's fairly likely. It's fairly likely that, that it would just be the beginning because, you know, like everything... Uh, it's just it, when they initially let in abortion, it would have been like, oh, yeah, um, okay, we're just going to legalise abortion up to the first eight weeks. And it will be just for, like, um, in cases of rape and if the woman's life's at risk and if the baby's deformed and people are like, yeah, that's kind of reasonable. Well, it's the, that was the thin end of the wedge because now we see labour... In Queensland, Anastasia Palaget, the Goblin, and Jackie Trad, they've brought in full-term abortion. Full-term. It's 
pretty much like gender select abortion as well. So we're turning into communist China. It's fucking out of control. Anyway, so don't vote Labor Green because they bring in all this crap. I think Israel fully is right. They're saying that's what this post was in retaliation to that, telling people they need to repent, something's going wrong. <clears throat> um, I'll continue reading. Several hours later, he wrote on Instagram saying, those that are living in sin will end up in hell unless you repent. Uh, those positions are common Christian beliefs and Folau had every right to express this view. There is no way Rugby Australia can claim that people would believe that his personal views reflected their position as an organisation on the topic at hand. Damn straight. The so this is beyond PC culture that's going beyond it's becoming control freak culture. Do you know what I mean? And it's like this is the guy, it's like the tricking everyone. They're like, it's all about the PC culture. We can't offend anyone. We've got to be really nice. But it's like that it's it's a passive way to really uh roll out the agenda which is like full it's like full progressive control freaks who are like the overlord dictating us what you cannot say and think because everyone's hurt feelings and it's it's not even about i don't think anyone really cares like I'm, i think i'm on the list there of the things that he says drunkens you know liars yeah I th i've told lies i drink fornicator i don't know so even though i'm married oh, yeah who cares but we're, yeah, potentially we're all on the list and in christianity jesus said if you look at someone with lust you commit adultery and if you look at someone with anger it's like you've committed murder and jesus was painting the picture we we're all guilty we're all guilty and in need of salvation his offer is for everyone and everyone needs it everyone can have a hope beyond the grave and everyone can have a spiritual transaction going on between god and man that's the point of the cross it's like the payment for the sins and then jesus died and he rose again giving us a hope for the future and then if you're aware of the new testament he says he gave us the Holy Spirit in the day of Pentecost. The Spirit of God came and empowered people, empowered the church. So wherever you're at, don't don't stress about if you're like, I'm on the bloody, I'm on Israel Folau's list, mate. Bit concerned. I don't know how I'm going to change my um, behavior. I wouldn't be too concerned about that. I'd just be like, yeah, I trust in Jesus. You get the Holy Spirit. He's going to help you. You have spiritual power. That's the whole point. That was the whole process of helping us it's to help us on it's like a holistic help so don't stress out just uh get on get on to the old uh you might as well you might as well put your faith in jesus you know if, especially if he's the uh, if the only historical evidence we have of a person rising again from the dead and you're like yep that's awesome. That seem, there seems to be enough historical, credible evidence around the resurrection of Jesus. So it's like, I put my trust in him. I'm like, yeah, hope beyond the grave. And like, um, I reckon spiritual transaction happens. I feel spiritually fulfilled. I feel confident. I feel uh, relaxed and at peace and content in life, but not complacent. You know what I mean? willing to uh, continuously look at ourselves and be like, yeah, I could prove that. I could do better. I could fix my drunkenness and my lies, like on the Israel for our list. I could do that and have no shame in saying I've made mistakes or we do things wrong. That's a part of having the Holy Spirit or having the Christian mindset where you're willing to forgive others and yourself and move forward in a positive direction. That's a fully healthy thing. And, like, we're living in a culture where it's, like, white guilt, colonial guilt. Uh, everyone's been guilted up on everything, and it's having a terrible effect. I think these, like, vegans are guilty, and these environmentalists are guilty. But they're actually just hitting the self-destruct button. It's kind of pathetic. It's not helpful. You're not helping anyone. 
So let's continue reading. I think I might have lost a bit of um, where I was at. Anyway, let's continue from here. Israel has failed to understand that the expectations of him as a rugby Australian New South Wales Waratah employee is that he cannot share material on social media that condemns, vilifies or discriminates against people on the basis of their sexuality. So they're saying that he, he cannot share material on social media. That's full control freak. That, if you work for rugby or Waratahs or, um, you know, the Wallabies, they're on full control, control of your life. <clears throat> They've signed it away. I don't know if you're aware. I interviewed a dude named Bernie Gaynor, a dude from Queensland. He was like a soldier. He, um, I think he went to court. He, he was a soldier and he was like, yeah, I'm not really happy that the gays and the soldiers are marching at a gay pride parade. And he actually like took the, I don't know, army to court. I think he, he won the first court, uh, court case. Then they took it to the high court and I think he lost it there. And that has set up a precedence, is that, if that's how you say it, that pretty much your employer, if they don't like your politics or your philosophy or your ideas or your religion, they pretty much can't sack you. That is a law in Australia now, so that sucks. But it's real. And you can look at that interview. Just look in my YouTube channel in the down the videos, Bernie Gaynor interview, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, should I continue reading? Bang. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Rugby is a sport that continuously works to unite people and want everyone to feel safe and welcome in our game. And no vilification based on race, gender, religion, or sexuality is acceptable. And no language that isolates, divides, or insults people based on any of, the, uh, of those factors can be tolerated. As a code, we have made it clear to Israel formally and repeatedly that any part of me, social media commentary that is any way disrespectful to people because of their sexuality result in a dis disciplinary action. Full control freaks. It's like the weird thing where you have, <clears throat> it's like these left-wing crazy people, this crazy idea, these extreme left-wing people, it's like, they don't believe in multiculturalism. They don't, they're like saying, you can't discriminate against all these things. They don't believe in multiculturalism. They believe in one culture, but it's just the, the crazy PC control freak culture where they can, you can only express yourself as long as it's along these lines, as long as it's PC, as long as it's like, you can't challenge anything, you can't question anything, you can't have an exclusive belief system or convictions, you have to be real soft and flaky, and it's it's just fucking, it's stupid. They've re they're the people who invent, we're gonna, they invented multiculturalism, and now they're throwing it in the bin, they're saying it's not good enough. What's good enough is the PC culture, that's the one culture you're allowed, <clears throat> and it's just stupid. You know, every religion is exclusive in its claim. Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhs, Jews, Christians, Muslims, even atheists. They're all exclusive in their claims. They're making truth claims. Not this is the truth claim I'm making about morality, culture, how to do life. This is my tradition, my culture, my religion. This is it. <laughs> They're exclusive. Each one is exclusive. Exclusive truth claims about morality. And the atheist is the same. They're making their own exclusive truth claims. They're like, no, nope, this is the way it works. So is that, being multicultural, you're like, yep, they are all exclusive, but they can coexist if we have freedom of speech and maybe democracy and meritocracy. You know what I mean? <laughs> They can coexist, but it all or the system that the left's now pushing is this top down dictatorship that's like through PC, militant PC, control freak. We're gonna control and lord over you and you cannot express your exclusive belief system. No, you're not complying with the PC culture. 
They're, they're full insane dictators. Where are we going? Yeah, several hours later. I reckon we'll just leave it there. That's 20 minutes. It's a long rant. And the article continues, and I'll put I'll link the article below, and you continue reading it anyway. So, cheers! Thanks for listening. And I reckon st I stand up with my mate Israel Falao. I'll be like, I reckon you know what? Good on you, mate. I'm so glad. I was at the pub the other day having a beer, and this dude we're having a chat. I was like, yeah, mate, just bloody right, right, a bit of banter, and then I think he, and then later. He, Oh, mate, could I borrow a lighter off one of your mates? I'm like, yeah. Bang, I lit up his durry. I'm like, you're welcome to join us. He was sitting on his own. Then he came and sat with us, and then he starts preaching about Jesus. He starts telling us the good news. And I was like, yeah. And the boys, uh, most of the boys aren't Christian. They're like, oh, here we go. And I'm like, yeah, mate. I'm just egging them on. Like, keep telling me. <laughs> How's it go again? Who's Jesus? <laughs> and I was loving it. And I'm thinking... At least this guy, he actually is consistent with his belief systems. He is like actively concerned about me and wanting to tell me the good news. And I was like, that's awesome, mate. So good on you, Israel Folau, for being consistent with your belief systems and standing up for your culture, which is my culture too. And um, what a legend. So grateful for men like Israel Folau. Keep it up. Cheers, eh?